somebody would say na late na rin, for me, it's not too late for me to start uh, January 1, 2020, ay papasok na yung bagong update. What's up mga katropa pips? Welcome back to Teams World. And for today's video, pag-uusapan naman natin if is it too late for you to become a YouTuber this 2020. Check it out! So para magkaroon tayo ng background, especially sa channel ko ulit regarding my YouTube journey, I started my YouTube last 2018, exactly October 6, 2018. But I only achieved 1,000 subscribers on July 12, 2019. And as of the moment, I have 1,448 subscribers. So, bakit ko ba sinishare itong part na to sa video na to? Well, of course, para ipakita sa inyo na even though uh, nag-start ako ng 2018, well, somebody would say na late na rin, for me, it's not too late for me to start my YouTube channel. Simply because, um, marami naman nanonood ng ano, uh, YouTube eh. YouTube is the second biggest search engine in the world and again, owned by the largest search engine on, in the world which is Google. So, technically, yung clientele o yung mga manonood ay marami. Sobrang dami. Hindi lang naman dito sa Pilipinas kundi sa buong mundo. So, for me, and yung 1,448 subscriber in a one year, I think that is an achievement. Kasi may mga vloggers or YouTuber na dumadaan ng 5 years, pero for 400 pa lang yung subscriber. So, for me, that is still an achievement. Now, giving you the background ng aking YouTube journey, para i-relate nyo sa inyong magiging YouTube journey this 2020, uh, dito na natin pag-uusapan yung isang certain issue ayoko kasi, ayo kasi sabihin problem eh, pero certain issue regarding 2020 simply because starting December 10, 2019 which is up uh, magiging strict sila sa January 1, 2020 ay papasok na yung bagong update sa YouTube which is yung uh, settings about your channel or your video kung ito ba ay made for kids or not. So, I had put the, the link of my video about the, this update and you can watch it for more details. But by the way, it talks about COPA or Children's Online Prevention uh, Privacy Protection Act ng United States. Now, sasabihin nyo, bakit tayo damay in United States? Simply because you, uh, YouTube is a US company. Okay? So, even though tayo ay creators from other countries like me, I'm a creator from, Pilip uh, from the Philippines, damay po tayo sa batas na ito. So, anong sinasaad sa batas na ito? Again, sisimplihan ko na lang. If your video is made for kids, or you set your video made for kids, Maraming features ang mawawala sa'yo like comments, uh, notification bell, community tab, stories, and all. It is uh, their way to protect uh, children from watching unnecessary videos na hindi nararapan para sa kanila. Ang magiging problem lang dito is machine learning yung uh, ginagamit ng YouTube to check if your video is child-friendly or not. So, anong ibig sabihin nito? Kapag may nakita silang animation, children actors, or your video itself is appealing or nagugustuhan, or commonly ang mga viewers mo ay bata, even though you intend your video para sa pangmatanda, your video or channel supposed to be um, no, uh, well-known or set as made for kids. So, doon nagkakaroon ng issue. At ang isa pang problema is kung mali yung settings na ginawa mo sa video mo, especially kung yung video mo is uh, appealing sa children even though it's not made for kids and it uh, the YouTube considered it as made for kids, 
yung kama pepe na ng 40,000 US dollars per video. So, based dun sa sinabi ko kanina regarding dun sa pagkakastart ko, which is one year pa lang naman po ako sa YouTube, and yung pag-start sa 2020, dun natin ibabalance yung which regards to the update and the based dun sa story na sinare ko sa inyo. Well, for me, it's not too late to start on YouTube. Why? It's because uh, when you start on YouTube this 2020, simply lang naman yung aalamin mo. If you intended to make your video for kids or not. If it is not made for kids, make sure that you will avoid animation, children actors, and storytelling or toy review. Kasi automatic pag toy review siya or gaming, it might be appealing and it be, uh, YouTube would consider it as made for kids. So, this time around, uh, kailangan lang natin gawin if you're going to start your YouTube journey this 2020 is maging maingat tayo sa video na isushoot natin. Hindi na pwede tayo na basta, for me ha, this is only my own opinion. Hindi tayo pwede basta mag-vlog ng kung ano man yung magustuhan natin. Tapos, expect natin na since ang iniisip natin, ang manonood natin ay hindi children, so iset natin ang not made for kids. We should be careful. Yun lang. If we start our YouTube channel, or we had already started our, your YouTube channel, and you are going to continue your journey this 2020, magiging maingat lang tayo sa ating content at sa ating channel. So that's it for our vlog for today, mga katropa pips. If you have some questions or may gusto kayong gawin nating video, especially sa social media or sa YouTube, comment it down below. And kayo, mga katropa pips, kayo naman natatanong ko, anong opinion nyo? Is it too late to start your YouTube channel this 2020? Okay. Don't forget to, to click the red button to subscribe to my channel and then click the bell button to be notified every time I post a video. Follow me on my social media accounts that's Team Jeffrey Corrales Lucido for Facebook at TJC Lucido for my Instagram. Again, don't forget nga to subscribe to my channel para makasama ka sa Pamilyan Tropa Pips. And then follow me on Twitter at TJ Silicido. I also have Likey and TikTok accounts. And ilalagay ko po sa link below yung link <laughs> ng aking bagong Facebook group. Hindi po siya group chat, ha? Facebook group. Which is what I call Certified Tropa Pips. So, yung Certified Tropa Pips, dito ko po isi-share yung mas in-depth, mas personal, and dito ko na rin po isi-share yung mga promos and giveaways ko para sa aking channel. So, kung ikaw ay Certified Tropa Pips, may chance kang manalo at may chance ka rin na maging up close and personal sa akin. Okay? So, always remember mga Katropa Pips, keep dreaming and keep living. And see you again, mga katopapips. Bye-bye!